Hi, Don and Terrence. Redeveloping this property has been years in the making, and bringing it to fruition will take several more years. But the village says it won't be raising taxes to make it happen. Instead, the $440 million project will be done in part through TIF funding. Since 1960, Golf Mill has served Niles and surrounding communities. But like malls across America, it has experienced a decline in recent years. Some studies, though, show demand for retail space at shopping centers is on the rise again. In Niles, the village is looking to level most of Golf Mill's existing structure and create a mixed-use development. Headed by the Sterling Organization out of Florida, a re-envisioned Golf Mill will include new retail, luxury apartments, entertainment, and a pond with the mall's nostalgic water mill. While the AMC will be demolished, Target, Burlington, J.C. Penny, Ulta, and Ross are expected to remain. Mayor George Alpajanis hopes the project will transform the mall into a destination to live, work, and play. Golf Mill was, you know, the jewel of all shopping centers in the United States. Some of the most famous people played her, from Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack to the Temptations to the Jackson 5. So this was the place. I put it out to referendum last year. 75% of our citizens said, keep going. This is what we want. This is what we need in Isles. The reception is very good. You know, people are always worried about property taxes and things of that nature, but the way that we've uh, put this together. Our citizens are protected 100 percent. I've been reassured that not only by the village manager, but by our TIF consultants and our attorneys and our financial advisors. In about two weeks, the Niles Board of Trustees will take the de redevelopment agreement up for a vote at its meeting. Meanwhile, community members who missed tonight's presentation can attend the same presentation here at the mall tomorrow at 7 p.m. Reporting live in Niles, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.